What's your title here at Sun? I'm Arts and Culture. I have no idea. You're a sports sidekick or something. Yeah, uh-huh. Welcome, I'm Jonna Stewart. And I'm Pam. And this is usually the Southern Oregon News Network, but tonight we're calling it the Women's Only News Network, or WAN. What do you think, Pam? I like it, Jonna. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, girls. So tonight on One, Pam and I just want to talk a little bit about what's going on in Ashland. Um, we have a lot of great theater this time of year. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the Shakespeare Festival. We love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> and the average age goes down just a little bit when all those new actors come into town. <laughs> and I like that because there's more men. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful to have more men around this town. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice place. Hey, cheers, Viking. Hey, good dancing. Hey, who is this bird guy? Video games? Bottles. That's pie. What's this place? She's cute. Good party. What else is going on right now? Oh, all sorts of local theater. We have Man. all sorts of great local oh, theaters happening. Oh, woman. The cabaret's got some wonderful things going on. Mm -hmm. Now remember, Oregon Cabaret Theater is a dinner theater as well, so you can eat and watch the show. Oh, they've got this fantastic dessert there called the Dick Hay Pie. Dick Hay Pie. Uh, it's a town-wide known fantastic mm -hmm. chocolate madness. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah, and peanut butter. I all, all things that are good for you. <laughs> And uh, Cabaret, Shakespeare Festival, lots of theater. What about new restaurants in town? There's a few new restaurants in town, too. Oh. Have you tried any of them recently? I have. Um, there is a Pub and Pie now uh, owned by Neil Clooney of Smithfields. Oh. Pubs and Pies. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. Got some really good pies, uh, like meat pies. Sounds yeah, fantastic. I like me a meat pie. Mm -hmm. I call it a sling blade. Yeah, girl, get your meat pie. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Especially during winter, that's a very nice, warm little uh, meal to have mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's good. Um, there's a couple, there's another new place called Hearsay. Yes, I've been there mm -hmm. once. It's awesome. That's what They've I've got heard. some live musicians playing there and singing there, cabaret singers. It's absolutely beautiful. So mm -hmm. I love that good. little setup in there. Entertainment and good food. Mm -hmm. yep. Can't get better than that. That's right. We've still got the Ashland Springs water happening downtown that smells like uh, <laughs> lithia water. Oh, uh, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> quite a... I like to call those the penis fountains. <laughs> because if you go to drink out of them, oh. it looks like a penis, really. Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Yeah, and my yeah. friend said it tasted like a fuzzy fart recently. Mm hmm. That it does taste like a fuzzy fart. Appealing. So, like a duck fart or sorts. something. That's a fuzzy fart. Yum. I like it. That's what I want to smell when I'm walking down at the plaza. <laughs> Christmas cheer. And then I think we're getting Pioneer Mike back because he lost his uh, arm, his hand. Somebody stole his hand, has his gun in it. Goodness gracious. He had to be recast. There's only one person that could recast that type of statue and hmm. then put him back together. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Yeah. It's, uh, it's not even in town. Oh. Somewhere in Iowa, Idaho, mm -hmm. I don't even mm -hmm. know. Maybe you viewers can tell me. Yeah. But I, I, I know that he couldn't be, he could not be put back together locally, unfortunately. Oh. So many great artists as we have in this area. Pioneer Mike needed to be put together somewhere else. Poor, and then poor he'll Pioneer be Mike. Back in. <laughs> I know. We miss you. Yes. He's old. So <laughs> what can you do? I wonder if those do? bronze people are coming back into town when the weather gets nice. I haven't seen them around, but you know those oh. people that paint themselves like with bronze paint and then they just stand like, statue yes. still until you put yeah. money in their cup whatever and then they move and then like you've got to give them another dollar or whatever and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah I think they come through with the tourists mostly so that's why during off season I guess they I haven't seen those guys for a while much. we don't get these great human statues on the street yeah mm -hmm. I could do that though I could be like a human statue oh you'd be a great human statue yeah Ooh, John is new be. work huh <laughs> yeah I like it <laughs> Go, John. Hey, go. I've heard you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay taxes on that money. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. know, 
100% profit. Oh, you have to get that paint. Yes. Yeah. I, I would support you. you. Me, I would support you completely I in that job. I would. Yep. I know. I'd say go for it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you see me out on the street and I'm bronze painted, make sure you tuck a little dollar into my juice mm -hmm. drink. <laughs> that would be nice. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the weather's been really crazy lately. We've had snow, we've had rain. Um, we got a few inches of snow. The first snowfall this year, it was yeah. a record day for Ashland. Which is great. Mm -hmm. So now we have a ski resort again. <laughs> and we didn't have a ski resort year before it's last. Now Ashland open. People are loving the slopes right mm -hmm. now. So that's been wonderful. It's good, it's good for Ashland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good for getting a tan too, because the snow is reflective. So. You know, you don't have I get to burned very tanks. easily. Oh, I imagine. Yeah, it's not my favorite because I can get burned from all sides. And so wearing a hat is no longer useful <laughs> because <laughs> the sun is coming at you in every direction. So that makes it a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. But I love snowboarding, so I can't wait to get up on Mount Ashland. Snowboard you will. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will. Another thing I do very well on my ass <laughs> is snowboard. <laughs> I have been down Mount Bachelor, mm. halfway on a snowboard, halfway on my ass. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Sounds sunny very up there. eventful. <laughs> yeah. Donna, I'd be very proud of you doing that. <laughs> yeah. That's where I learned to snowboard, was on Mount Bachelor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is a great place, by the way, and not too far away if you want to venture outside of Ashland. Wonderful. And we've got some rain and snow coming up. And, um, I wonder if Jay Snow will tell us more about that. Oh yeah, Jay Snow. We should hand it over to Jay Snow. He would know all about this. I don't know if I'm ready for you motherfuckers always asking me about the weather and shit. Oh yeah. Gangster weather man. Man, I don't know what the fuck the weather doing. Go outside. Find out the weather that way. It could be raining, could be sunny. I don't know. My picture says it's raining outside. I see the sun. I don't know what it's doing out there. Shit. That was wonderful. Wow, Jay. What weather we've got coming Thank up. Thank you so much for that interpretation of the weather. Mm. Always great when Jay does the weather. Hey, Always speaking great. of men on this show, where the hell is Jimmy the Hard Man? You know, that's a good question. Jimmy and I were uh. such a great team, and he, um... Uh, uh, uh. I think maybe we should ease Jimmy into this idea hmm. of the Women's Only News Network. I like it. And women's sports. Wow. We need to have Jimmy talk about women's sports. That's a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. ah! I mean, women's soccer kicks ass over men's soccer. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Ah! Agreed. I, I, totally I mean, the that. Timbers are great. Portland Timbers, yes. Thank you, Portland, for putting soccer on the map in the United States. But, you know, those women, they really have it. Women's volleyball kicks butt over men's volleyball. They can rock it. Do you know that we have women wrestlers in Medford? I have not heard of that. Well, they're high school level, junior high school level, I guess it's the middle school. There's girls that wrestle on the wrestling team. Fantastic. There's actually a girl that plays on the Hedrick Middle School football team. Tackle. I love it. Yeah. That's great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> We need to get Jimmy covering this stuff. This is important, you mm -hmm. know? We own it now. These women own these sports. Watch out. Mm. I love it. What about you? Do you play any sports? I played a lot of sports. I played a lot of sports in high school, and now I just mostly do uh, snowboarding. I do some rock climbing. I don't play any really competitive sports oh. anymore, but okay. I did some soccer, swimming, and tennis. A lot. So I enjoyed That's it. a lot of sports. I had a great time diving mm -hmm. one year. It was pretty wild. Uh, it seemed adventurous at the time, and uh, now I, I, I look back and I enjoy the thought of it, but it was it was pretty intense for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so did you meet Greg Luganis? I met Greg Luganis. He was in town last year for the Ashland Independent Film no Festival. No way. Yeah. Not. And here he is, Greg Luganis. What an athlete. Greg Luganis is your gold medal winner. Everybody's wondering, well, when is this kid going to falter? I didn't feel welcome in diving. There was homophobia. Some of my teammates were calling me a fag. Had he been a straight athlete, he would have made millions. I was HIV positive. The best diver in the world is going through all this. I just wanted to hold the blood in. 
My name is Craig Louganis. I'm gay, and I'm HIV positive. They'll say, an Olympic gold medal is worth millions. That's not the reality. Sometimes you have a good month. Sometimes you have nothing. He reinvented himself. I'm sharing my experience, sharing what I learned, one step at a time. Yes. It's fantastic. He Did you guys have a good really conversation? He's really amazing. You know, he was very nice. Mm -hmm. Shorter than I thought. That's always how it is. You know, you see someone on TV and you think they're really tall. It's true. And they're not. It's so true. Which is great because I'm short. I, no one would know it. I, you just told <laughs> everyone. You chair. gave away your secret. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was very uh, charming. Mm -hmm. And he had a film in the film festival about, about himself, about Greg Louganis, a documentary. Mm -hmm. And, and he actually came to Ashland to talk about his film. Wonderful. Yeah, that's cool. Well, he enjoyed his stay there. here. I should have invited you, had I known. You should have invited me. I know. Next time. John, I'm disappointed. Who knew? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were a diver. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. That's weird. I can't move my hands. <laughs> hands are going back no. in place. <laughs> hands stay in front of us on this show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unless they're up here. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> we could do jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting a little loopy here. I know. We haven't even had have any wine yet. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Southern Oregon wineries, because that's my thing, you know, I am mm. the Southern Oregon wine reviewer. I love wine tasting. And so do I. There's wine tasting, and then there is wine tasting. And I just want to put a little plug out there for my friend Eric Weisinger, who was so gracious at his winery on Saturday. I went there, and he oh. had wines out from 1989, and 2002 was the newest wine that he had. I had me, let me taste all of his library wines from 89 and 97 and 98, and it was really nice. I like tasting wines that are really old and comparing them to wines that aren't mm -hmm. and wines that were actually around when I was around <laughs> when I moved to this valley. <laughs> uh, and it's pretty interesting because I've had tasted some of those wines in the 90s and then tasting them again now in 2015, mm -hmm. totally different. They've, you know, they mature <clears throat> just like me. They become Beautifully, better I'm as sure. they get mm -hmm. older. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Fuller bodies just like me <laughs> as they get older. <laughs> And richer and bolder. Oh, I don't know if I'm richer, but Ooh, what kind of show I are we doing pretend. now? It's happening. <laughs> I'm talking about wine. I oh, okay. Get well, are we talking about wine? I talk about wine. All right. Welcome to the Southern Oregon Wine Review, or as I like to call it, sour. I'm your host, Jonna Stewart. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Ashland wineries, since that's where we are. We're in Ashland, Oregon. And we have so many amazing wineries here in Southern Oregon, so let's just narrow it down to Ashland today. Now, if you have never been out to Belfiore, what a gorgeous place. I mean, how much money can you spend on one wine tasting room? A lot, apparently. But thank you to this Ashland doctor for building such a gorgeous Italianate structure for us to partake in. Now, as you know, on here on Sour, I like to review the winemakers as well as the wines. Well, if you go to Belfiore, there are a lot of wines to choose from. Their winemaker, Kathy Cargus, has been pretty prolific with uh, the offerings they have up there. Now, Kathy comes from Napa, which is okay. I mean, I wish they all could be California girls, but they're not, thank goodness. As you know, here on Sour, I like to rate the winemakers on if they're single, and uh, they get more points if they are not married and also by their looks so Kathy I like her look it's very natural she wears her hair long uh, she's uh, she's very much you know representing the girls out there in the winemaking business but definitely not pretentious women but married so you know how that goes Kathy got to mark you down for being married now she does get extra points for being married to another winemaker so hey let's give Kathy a six all right and it looks eh, five, but extra points for being married to a winemaker yourself. Now, if you can't make it all the way out to Belfiore on Dead Indian Memorial Road, you can always go visit Eric Weisinger at Weisinger's, which is on Siskiyou Boulevard, a little closer to town. Let's talk about Eric. Eric, why'd you have to get married? You were single for so long. But I guess it happens to the best of us. 
Well, not me, but you. Eric, extra points for the green eyes. Green eyes, yes. And extra points for being the nicest winemaker in Southern Oregon, definitely. Married, points off. I would give Eric a 10, but sorry, Eric, nine for being married. Now, Eric was the winemaker at Weisinger's for a long time. And he went and took, traveled, traveled over to Australia and New Zealand and lived there for quite a few years. Came back here, made some wines, went back there, made some wines and learned how to make wines from lots of different grape varietals. But you can go visit Eric now at Weisinger's. He's taken over Weisinger's from his father who started the winery and it's now called Weisinger Family Winery. So Eric, of course, best of luck to you. And your wines are really great. So go out there and taste some wines with Eric if you get a chance. You remember, he's my 10, but gotta knock off that point for being married, sorry. Now, Grizzly Peak Winery is down the road from Weisinger's. It's over on Nevada, a little bit closer to town. You can go over there and try some great wines. Naomi will pour for you in that wine tasting room. Naomi's very cute. I give Naomi a nine. Don't know if she's married or not, but hmm, I have to ask her that next time I see her. So, uh, Grizzly Peak wines are made by Linda Donovan. Now, Linda Donovan is a very prolific winemaker. Linda, I have to rate you, and I think you get points for being single. Um, fairly nice looking lady, although, you know, maybe you could jazz it up a bit, Linda. Maybe you could, I don't know, try different hair color or something, maybe do the nails. I know it's hard being a winemaker and, and getting your nails done, but it might help the image just a little bit. Anyhow, Linda also has a wine called Pick Me, and I love that wine. It's got a pineapple on the front, and I just think that's so cute. Linda, though, we've really got to talk. Uh, you're getting ready to open a tasting room in Medford, and you're going to be showcasing a lot of different wines that are made at your crush facility at Pallet Wine Company, and you know who would be perfect to run your tasting room? Right here in front of you. Yep, uh-huh, yeah. Extra points for that. So Linda Donovan's making wines at Grizzly Peak, and if you go down the road a little ways, you can hit Dana Campbell Vineyard in Ashland. Now Dana Campbell is a newer vineyard. They've been around for about three years now. And I give them a whole bunch of points for their view. One of the best views of the valley. Oh, you can see everything from out there. They're actually closer to town. They're off of Eagle Mill Road and really easy to get to. And the wines, well, let's just not talk about that. But you can go out there and listen to bands and play bocce ball and stuff like that. Really great place for a date. So winemakers, my hat's off to you. The only real 10 today goes to Eric, sorry. But you know what? Ashland itself is a 10 for wines. We'll see you next time on the Southern Oregon Wine Review. Okay, let's talk normally. Yeah, if we're going to be talking normally mm -hmm. um, for this camera, is about, this right? is probably about. Well, I think I this project a little, a little bit. Do you think so? Well, I usually project a little bit. Okay. Um, but I don't know if that's because I'm usually with. Jamie! <laughs> and because we're used to being on stage. So if we were just having because, a conversation, we would probably talk at this yeah, level. Yeah, I know. I feel, um, I get a little nervous though, because when I start talk, talking quieter, I start talking lower, uh, and then I end up talking like a man. So I get to I be the man why, on this stage. You get to be the man, so I'm trying to That's use right. my upper register Use your upper register, bit. and I'll go a little and, lower. Okay. I'll okay. be right, right about here. Uh -huh. I like it. Because it's more authoritative. My, Totally, and that's exactly why women drop their into their lower register. And I've been learning that's all right. about that recently from my vocal coaches. 
because it's not really healthy on our voice. Wait a minute. I play the authoritative roles. Oh, right. You don't audition for those roles. Oh, no, but I... No, because well, then maybe. <laughs> you're going to... Because you're going to take all my parts. <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> no way. Yes, you... You've got some great strengths that I do not have at all. These. So I... <laughs> That's it. Everything These else you're better strength. at. <laughs> can sing better than I can. Dance better than I can. Welcome to my arts and culture segment. It's a new segment that I'm doing about crafts. And today, Pam is going to show me some sweaters that she's been making for the holiday season. So Pam, yeah. I'm so glad you could join me on my show today. Thank you for having me, John. I don't usually get really to share this set with you. Oh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. it, you have to sort of work your way up the ladder to share the set with me, but oh. I'm happy to have you. Oh, <laughs> there was nobody else around, so anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about your sweaters, oh, shall sure. we? So how did you get started in this? And, um, people just can't seem to get enough of sweaters these days. It's true. So. <laughs> I see a lot of these kind of sweaters on People. Not me, but you know, yeah. other, you know, other people. Yeah, they're very popular. Kind of the holiday um, sweater parties is what I've been calling them. Yes. And um, different styles, people have been loving them. And you know, the, I'm starting to get into different fabrics on top. And uh -huh. all sorts very of nice, things. very nice. It, it's yeah. almost, it's so textural, you know, it's almost like a real beard. Definitely. <laughs> like Santa has a real beard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and it's soft. I it's, don't it's know nice. that I would wear that sweater. I mean, um, I've also started making um, different hats and oh. of sorts, and um, you could write all sorts of, I can crochet different like names in here, like Shalom or such, and Thank um, you. you know, put additions. Pam knows I'm Jewish, and so I, I don't know that I would wear one of these sweaters, but maybe a Shalom hat. I mean, it could pass for a yarmulke, right? So. I could, sure. I could yes. rock that in shul. The Coquel tribe is coming into town. They're building a casino. Oh. Yes. I have not heard that. Very excited for that so I can go drink and gamble and do all those fun things. Wonderful. <laughs> what a fun holiday you know, activity. That's what I like to do in my spare time. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good holiday activity. <laughs> Never mind. Mm -hmm. So um, tell me about this Santa now that you're wearing. Why? Are his lips so red? I'm just curious. It looks like he has lipstick on. I, I don't, I kind of think this theme, this ho, ho, ho theme, uh, it, it's a little, for me, I don't know, would you sell it at a Castle Mega Store? I'm kind of thinking maybe that's where your, I, your next I don't know sale could be. What that is. Oh. Um, what would I want to wear on my holiday sweater? You mm -hmm. know, like, Santa sucks it. Yeah, that would be good. I, I would wear that to a party. Yeah, I'd wear that to a party, all right. Uh. I've never seen a sweater like that. Exactly, but. see, you have a whole new audience. Nobody's doing it. You would be the first. You would make so much money. Interesting, that is very creative thought. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I have an idea for our inspiration. So oh? we can go to the office in downtown Medford. I don't know where that is. Oh, I'll take you there. Okay. It's really easy to find. <laughs> Do they sell supplies and stuff? Um, they sell some things. Okay. Um, is it like lap a craft dances store? and oh. things like that? You can buy a lap dance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they have pool okay. too, and of course the food's good. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can get a steak dinner for like five bucks or something. Awesome. I'm a big foodie. I will eat almost anything. And uh, so there's some eating you could do there too. <laughs> okay. Might cost you extra okay. in there. Mm -hmm. so. oh, it'll be a girls night. Oh, girls night. <laughs> <laughs> I love girls night. Yeah, probably be the only girls there, but that's good. Okay. Cause there's mm -hmm. lots of men. <laughs> that doesn't, oh. <laughs> that would be okay with you, right? <laughs> oh, sure. I like men. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great 
idea. Oh, I should be making a list of all these things. Oh, you should. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> so tell me about this pin cushion. I think it's very interesting. Was it a gift? Oh, you know, it is actually a gift. I have, um, I work with several costume girls. We used to make costumes together. And so for one of our Christmas gifts, um, one of the friends made this for us. And it actually comes with a little um, holder at the bottom, but I didn't bring that on set today. Oh, so how cute. Well, cushion. you know what it reminds me of is Mario. You see what I'm saying? It you know, does. Mario Brothers. The mushroom top thing. Yes. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. But mm -hmm. it could be a great pasty. I mean, you, you could make a costume out of this. Yeah, T definitely. Or, uh, <laughs> like a, Bob, Jenna Jackson. Bob, Bob, Jenna Jackson. Bob, Bob, Bob. Jackson. Jackson. Is that what's happening? It's Jackson. I don't know a Janet Jackson move. Oh, it's the same thing as Paula oh. Abdul, just a little bit cuter. Okay, like what? <laughs> like, you know. Oh, did, did they do that? Miss you much. Ha. Ha. I miss you much. <laughs> I don't know that song, but I'm going to sing along. It's <laughs> You're too young to remember that. Oh, oh am I? <laughs> yeah. What year did it come out? <laughs> like 89. Oh, yeah, I was two. Yeah, I was graduating from college. <laughs> <laughs> Get my. <laughs> or you could wear a thong under. Just with the sweater and the oh. thong, you know, for your holiday party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we really need to write all these ideas down. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up. We have so many good holiday ideas now. Yeah. And thank you so much for being on my show, Pam. <laughs> thank you for our girl time. This was fun. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Join us next time. I'm Jonna Stewart. Peace out. And, um, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> we're done. Okay. So see you next time. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Southern Oregon News Network. This is it. We're out. Thank you for being with us. This is Pam. And this is Jonna. See you next time. Awkward. <laughs> I know. We're done. We have nothing else to say. And it's one minute to six. So actually, we're perfect. Hallelujah. Because we only on the studio until six. <laughs> this crew doesn't work overtime. Can I move my elbows now? We're moving our elbows now. <laughs> hey, Macarena. Oh, the sprinkler. Oh, I love da da ba 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 da